Have you ever seen a Fortnite controller player that makes good funny content while also being one of the best in the world? And what if we told you that Fortnite player is also in one of the most prestigious gaming organizations in the world? If you haven't guessed it already, that person is the one and only FaZe Jarvis. Whether or not you use a controller, you can also be one of the next best Fortnite players. Just check out Instapro to get guidance from the very best coaches in the Fortnite community. Jarvis is, without a doubt, one of the most unique Fortnite players out there. Not only is he entertaining and creative, but he's also one of the top competitive controller players in the world of Fortnite. He's dominated in the World Cup qualifiers and was even going to qualify. Mini, mini. Oh my god, what's going on, man? Oh my god, that's you. Yes, it's uh, okay. He got that, dude. Jarvis got Max now. Oh, I got Max, no, I have Max, I have Max. Yo, oh, he got that guy. What? Come on, get this guy, get this guy, get this guy. This is crazy. Yeah, somebody calling out his exact match, keeping him aware of everything. Yo, 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 yes, the laser. There you go. You got this, Jarvis. You got this, bro. You know the story by now, but if you don't, here's a quick explanation of what happened. Jarvis was doing great in the World Cup qualifiers and was nearing the placements he needed to qualify for the World Cup in New York. But due to long queue times, he was unable to complete all of his matches in time to qualify for the Cup. Many people would even say that he got cheated out of his placement for the massive tournament. But even so, he's still considered one of the top Fortnite players in the world. Oh, and have we told you about his hilarious brother FaZe K? Jarvis and K make an awesome content creating duo that are almost a perfect addition to each other. Jarvis being the talented Fortnite player and K being the guy who incorporates funny reactions. Haven't you ever heard of the popular term, Jarvis, that's insane bro? The two of them make a dynamic duo that helps make their content more entertaining and fun to watch, while at the same time, Jarvis racks up earnings and placements to put alongside his many other accomplishments. So what makes him such a talented Fortnite player? He was popularized as a content creator, but with time, he was eventually known to be one of the best controller players in the world. So what allowed him to be given the title of one of the best in the world? Well, in this video today, we're going to be doing an analysis of FaZe Jarvis and going into what makes him such a talented player. Right off the bat of his gameplay, we see Jarvis W keying opponents, going for those quick early game kills. He knows that him getting a tack shotgun or a drum gun can give him the easy advantage he needs to dominate players in the early game. Remember, not everyone has good weapons at this point, and some don't even have weapons in the beginning of every game. Directly after getting his first elimination, he spots another player running outside. Using his drum gun, he gets another easy kill on this opponent, which most likely doesn't have enough materials or skill to keep building. In fact, his opponent just starts dancing, not even attempting to eliminate Jarvis. Jarvis spots another player running around in Salty once again. Utilizing the controller aim assist, he quickly eliminates this opponent with a few shots from his assault rifle. Jarvis definitely knows how to use aim assist perfectly. It's one of the distinguishing aspects of his gameplay. He's always scoping in and out to make the most of the game mechanic. As he approaches the broken house at Salty Springs, Jarvis starts shooting at an opponent on top of the house. This opponent takes damage and quickly finds cover behind the house. Jarvis now uses his stink bombs to drive the opponent away from his advantageous position. This causes the opponent to make a bad decision by rushing Jarvis blindly. Jarvis uses his combat shotgun to quickly take out the opponent while also taking some damage from the proximity grenade launcher. This won't be a problem for FaZe Jarvis, however, since he has bandages and minis that he can use to regain the majority of his health. As he's bandaging back up, we see an opponent rushing his box. Jarvis quickly edits the wall in between him and his opponent, using this opportunity very well. He quickly hits a massive shot in his opponent. Then he immediately breaks the wall and places a ramp. This creates a barrier between him and his opponent, allowing him more control. This allows him to manipulate the ramp in whichever way he wants so that he can confuse his opponent into making an edit play. And that's exactly what he does. He swiftly edits the ramp and takes an accurate shot which finishes the fight in favor of Jarvis. Later on into the gameplay, Jarvis is on top of a house when he sees an enemy quickly approaching him using a ramp rush. He quickly does 50 damage to the player as he's ramping up. He does this by doing a side jump where he has a quick window to deal damage before he loses the angle. Looking at his materials, we can see that Jarvis doesn't have much to spare. So what he does in these next few seconds could easily determine the outcome of the fight. Jarvis is very intelligent about it. He quickly places a cone at the top of the opponent's ramp, which stops him from moving up. This allows Jarvis to avoid a build fight with the opponent. Instead, he basically gets the player to drop down to his level rather than aggressively keeping high ground. Now that the player has come to his level, Jarvis starts to contest the opponent for high ground by building up. 
Now, once again, the opponent starts to build very quickly and regain his high ground, and Jarvis is even lower on mats. This isn't looking very good for him, is it? But don't sleep, Jarvis has a plan. He now starts to use the baiting tactic to get his opponent to come to him. By not building and leaving himself exposed, he gets the opponent to drop down again. As soon as Jarvis anticipated the person dropping down, he quickly places materials over himself to provide cover. The opponent is now aggressively trying to push him, as Jarvis has continued to bait him and prolong the fight. As the opponent looks for angles, Jarvis is ready. As soon as he drops down to the side, Jarvis gets a high damage shot for 77 while the opponent gets the wall. Jarvis quickly places a ramp in between so that the wall can't be edited and used to damage Jarvis. So we're going to skip ahead a bit since the opponent decided to play safe and box up to heal rather than continuing the fight. Jarvis has to be the one that's aggressive even though he doesn't have many materials. Watching him do this is going to be interesting. Jarvis starts by breaking some walls and attempting to figure out the exact location of his enemy. This is because he has stink bombs that he plans on using to bait the opponent out rather than wasting his materials to get up to him. The stink grenades do lots of damage, but what ends up getting Jarvis the finishing kill isn't actually his stinks, it's a third party that showed up to the fight. A lot of times when you're fighting opponents for a prolonged period of time, you'll find that other players will start showing up to finish the fight off. Jarvis is ready for this though, he places himself on the outside of the third party and his original enemy, giving him the power position. Jarvis gets an opportunity to get a clean kill on his original opponent as he's distracted by the third party. Now Jarvis has to deal with another opponent, so he quickly gathers the materials and items from his last fight. Then he gets ready for another fight. This clip was a good example of how Jarvis can be very resourceful and smart when it comes to playing with limits. This is a huge skill set most pros need to have, especially in a game like Fortnite when you really never know what your odds are going to look like. In the next clip, we see Jarvis flying into an opponent looking for a kill. Jarvis quickly takes a shot at him with his sniper, but unfortunately takes a lot of damage back and misses the shot. He must now figure out a way to get the elimination without risking getting shot back, which could end his game. Jarvis knows that he has a trap, and he quickly boxes in his opponent. Unfortunately for him though, he only has one trap. How many times do you guys box someone in and place a single trap only for them to dodge it and escape? Well, this is the problem that Jarvis has right now. Don't forget though, Jarvis is a very intelligent player. He takes a second to look at the placement of his enemy. He sees that he is fairly in between his one by one. Jarvis knows exactly what he has to do. He quickly places a trap on the side of the box and rotates the ramp towards that side. This traps the opponent, making it impossible for them to run to the other side to evade the trap. Although this move is very effective, it's also super hard to do. Many players struggle with the button combo and the fast editing speed that you need to be able to pull this off, but for FaZe Jarvis, it's just another tool on his belt. Going ahead slightly into the gameplay, we can see that another opponent has pushed Jarvis. Luckily, Jarvis was able to heal up before being pushed, which is going to help him with this next fight a lot. Now, we mentioned before that Jarvis is a very good content creator besides just being a player. This means that a lot of times, he's going to go for some crazy stuff that isn't always the smartest. We see a glimpse of this in the following moments. Jarvis has his heavy sniper out and is going for a quick no scope, which is very risky by the way because a majority of the times in Fortnite, no scopes will not hit due to the randomness of the sniper. Jarvis also chokes a bit since the opponent has the wall and is editing it quickly. His opponent swiftly gets a shot off at Jarvis, which could have easily ended his game, but as we mentioned before, Jarvis smartly healing up after the last fight saved his life in this one right here. Now Jarvis knows he needs to get oriented as he's slightly thrown off by the mistake he's just made, so he quickly moves over to the side and builds a one by one. Notice how when he does this, he crouch walks over. This is because this movement acts as a strafe, since most of the time opponents will be going for headshots. Now Jarvis has his own wall and can get a chance to get organized. He once again takes out his sniper, but this time he knows he can't mess around. He quickly switches to his shotgun as soon as the opponent tries to shoot through the wall. Jarvis now waits for the opponent to break the wall. As soon as he does, Jarvis takes a high damage shot that is perfectly timed to send the other guy back to the lobby. It's plays like these that separate pros from other players. Jarvis is one of the most resourceful and intelligent players when it comes to playing Fortnite. He always knows what to do when he's at a disadvantage, and he uses what he has to get an advantage. You've learned the most important aspects of his gameplay. You now know that you can get out of almost any situation as the winner as long as you play smart and use your area to your advantage. Not to forget, aiming is critical. You must keep in mind that you can't miss shots if you want to be good as Jarvis, but at the same time, make sure you can do a really good job at editing fast and accurately. Doing these things will help you get up to his level. We hope this video did a good job at showing you what makes Jarvis such a good player. He didn't win thousands of dollars from placements for nothing. As we reach the end of this video, we'd like to thank you guys for watching and wanted to know, what's your favorite thing about Jarvis? And do you think he's one of the best controller players in the world? Be sure to leave your answers in the comments and we'd like to thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe.